In sewing over bulky seams or multiple layers of fabric, a hump jumper helps to level the presser foot on your sewing machine, making straight and even stitches over bulky areas easy to achieve. The hump jumper sits beneath the back of your presser foot and levels it. It has two thicknesses, making it easy to sew with a variety of fabrics. It can also be used when sewing buttonholes. Many sewing machines come with a hump jumper, but they're also a couple dollars if your machine did not come with one. Thread snips are used constantly while sewing. The snips marketed to home sewists, such as these from Fiskars, cost about $15. However, these snips come in a pack of five and are listed as plant trimmers. They are equally as sharp and are easy to place throughout your sewing space, so you can trim threads at your sewing machine, your ironing board, your cutting board, etc. Traditional pin cushions, such as the famous tomato, are fine, but do take a bit more time to put pins into and take from. A magnetic pin holder, such as this one, is easy to drop pins on quickly while sewing. It can also hold quite a bit more than a smaller cushion can. If pins aren't your thing, these fabric clips are another affordable option and are easy to use. Tracing paper is useful if you want to preserve your original paper patterns. However, rolls of tracing paper can be quite expensive. I find medical paper, such as the kind you sit on at the doctor's office, to be a really affordable alternative. This box has 12 rolls, each 125 feet long, so it's going to last me a very long time. You can use basically anything as pattern weights. However, I find that large washers work really well at holding pattern pieces on top of fabric while being low profile enough to make cutting the fabric out a simple process. Larger objects can get in the way and these lay flat while being heavy enough. I've begun to store patterns that I make and reference often on a clothing rack with these boot clips. These clips hold the pattern pieces securely while keeping them nice and flat, as opposed to folding them up to store away. A large pack of these is only about $6, and I really enjoy how it makes my sewing space look and feel. A hot iron ruler is an incredibly useful tool while pressing fabric. Sewing patterns often have you press fabric by a certain amount before sewing, with button bands, cuffs, collars, hems, etc. And a ruler that can be ironed itself helps to assure accuracy while pressing. This one may seem a bit silly, but sewing is pressing, and you want to ensure you only use distilled water in your steam iron to avoid mineral buildup, clogs, and spurts of water from your iron. It's really important to have two pairs of scissors, one for cutting fabric and one for cutting paper and interfacing. I like this Pro Shear pair for cutting fabric and this Fiskars pair for paper and interfacing. This ensures that your fabric scissors stay nice and sharp. Taylor's chalk is useful for marking darts, buttonhole placements, pleats, and tracing pattern pieces onto fabric. You can get it in a variety of colors and it washes off of fabric easily. Standard jeans buttons are hammered on. You have the front button piece and a metal tack that is hammered into it to hold the button together. Most of these are cheaply made and the back tack piece is easily bent when hammering. I've tried a variety of brands and this happens pretty consistently. Instead, I've begun to use these screw together jeans buttons and they are such a game changer. There is no hammering and the back tack piece feels sturdier overall. I also appreciate the simpler aesthetic of the front button. These screw together buttons are affordable, easy to use, and they're also easy to take out and replace if needed. I found that 
the hammer together buttons. If they bend at all when you're hammering, they become quite sharp and it's really uncomfortable when you're wearing them to button and unbutton the pants. And that's not a problem at all with these screw together buttons. Taylor's hams are incredibly useful when pressing curved areas of garments, as well as narrow areas, such as a cuff or leg. Curved shoulders, collars, waist and hip curves, all of these areas of garments benefit from being pressed on a curved surface. You can use a narrower ham for sleeves and a wider one for shoulders and neck bands. Rotary blades make cutting pattern pieces from fabric incredibly easy. You don't have to fuss with pens or picking up the fabric to fit scissors beneath. They help make cutting sharper curves out easy as well. A self-healing cutting mat protects your table surface.